Well, what is up today, guys? What's happening? How are you? I hope you're awesome. It is episode number 40 of the Chad's Way podcast, and uh, I hope you're awesome. I hope you're great. I hope you're phenomenal. I know you are. I know that you're great. I know that you're incredible because you are here and you're listening or watching the podcast, and I'm so so thankful for that. A uh, couple of quick housekeeping things, man. Um, first of all, let me just say that I appreciate the recent support. It's been incredible. The inbound uh, calls, comments, texts regarding uh, the Chazway podcast. I'm super thankful for that. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your feedback. Uh, secondly, please do me a favor and make sure you share these out as much as possible. And third, let me just say that the Chazway podcast is just a, a recap for you. Is It's just me with a love and a heart for other people. And I'm a flawed dude who makes lots of mistakes. I continue to fail, but I fail forward and I want to become the best version I possibly can of myself. I work on that every single day. Again, with failure, but with intention to do better and to do to do greater and to um, and to love stronger and to help others, etc. And so, um, I kind of have three things that are the foundation of of what I represent. And the one is making sure that you know that you're worthy of great things. You're an incredible human being. Secondly, is to know for you to know that um, flawed or not, I am here for you. I'm here to be by your side. I'm here to offer friendship, support, love, care, concern. Whether it's um, you know supporting your weight loss journey, your weight gain journey, your, you know, your, um, addiction, your, uh, struggles with mental health, whatever. Like I'm not a pro at anything. I'm just a friend who's willing to listen. And I want you to know that I'm there for you. Thirdly, just know that you're created with purpose on purpose. Your value is great, 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 huge more than, you know, it's so common for us to take a back seat to ourselves uh, while we help others become the best version of themselves. Uh, meanwhile, it's a lot of times that we self-sabotage, etc. And so I want you to know that you're worth worthy of great things, as I mentioned, but also um, that you're you're very capable of taking your ordinary life and making it extraordinary from average to far, far, far above average. And all that is is a matter of a decision and then an action step. So you can talk about it, but then you do it. So it's two steps. It's 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 a commitment and then it's the action behind it. And I, I just believe that all of us are capable of that. Today's episode number 40. The title of this episode is called Did the Church Hurt You? And the reason for this message today is because um, like so many of us, I have been jaded by churches. I've been hurt by churches. Uh, I've been sad. I've, I've been in great places, great spaces of the church world. And I've been in upset, sad, scary, pissed off all different facets and areas. And I'm not going to get super into detail just for the protection and, and love and, and respect for, for churches and for people. So I'll probably keep this slightly vague, but the reality is, um, uh, most of us commonly, and I don't know where you find this message, whether you're in the United States or a different country, or, or maybe you're in the Midwest. I was talking to Anna just recently about like, how I'm kind of like I'm in Oklahoma, so it's like the Bible Belt, um, but it's like there's the most strip clubs and the most tattoo shops um, and churches, and there's like tons of churches, so it's like really interesting. Like Anna was like, yeah, it's kind of like Sin City meets like Jesus City. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. It is crazy where we're at, but um, I mean, I would bet, generally speaking, I mean, I'd love your feedback on this as well. By the way, if you don't mind, if you're on uh, iTunes, would you make sure you leave a review? and comment there that'd be awesome make sure you subscribe wherever you're watching or listening from uh if you're doing the the youtube thing hit the like button and subscribe and uh, comment as well so anyhow having said that uh the title of this is did the church hurt you and and the reason again is just because i have been in a space i've been um i've been offended by churches i've been offended by people uh, and I think that as I've matured and grown, and you guys hear me talk about pride and ego so much, but I think as I've learned to step back with a little more of a mature outlook, I'm reminded that it's a me problem most commonly and not the church. And how stereotypical and immature of me to call it a church thing or a church problem or a, a, or, or to be offended by the church when the reality is the church is a couple things. There is a brick and mortar church and there is a congregation, there is a body of the church, right? And so if one person does something that offends me, um, that's not the church, man. That's not the church. That's a human. That's a person. And um, if, we're, if we're looking at it from a, an angle of grace, Jesus calls us to, to love and care about people. And God is extends the most grace ever, ever in the world. And so why is it okay to um, be jaded or hurt or offended by quote unquote the church again narrowing that down it probably was a person and quite possibly it was a me problem and not them and so 
Um, sometimes I, I question, is this a matter of ego? And I would say for me, yes. And I would say if you're in a space today where you're willing to, to, to kind of to surrender to possibilities of pride and ego getting in the way, I would think that you probably would agree with me that a lot of times it's a matter of ego and it's sometimes a us problem. And so did we go in expecting the worst in church? You know, did you go into the church looking because you've got some trauma from the past maybe? And did you go into church thinking like this could be bad, this could be sad, they might not be good, they may be about, like you know how we judge people, we size people up in advance. I think it's important to do our best not to do that, especially if we're trying to live the most godly life we possibly can. Uh, let me say this, my friends, that, that is not an easy thing, but I think it's a necessary thing for those of us that believe in God and want to live the best life we can. I think it's important to take a look at like, what would Jesus do? How, how should we, how should or could we handle these things differently? And so I know for me, I've gone into a lot of situations expecting the worst. I've gone into churches like immediately judgmental of the worship like worship's a big deal to me i love worship so there's been certainly times where i've gone into church and the first thing i'm doing is like sizing it up i'm critical well first of all where's the love in that second of all who am i to judge and third of all um like that that's ego like that's 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 me thinking i'm greater than anybody it's not a matter of like going and saying i'm better than that it's a matter of me like just being judgmental and so or a pastor or you know i've questioned i'm being just vulnerable i'm questioning questioning um sincerity right or what is the church's real outlook what are their foundations what are their core values and the reality is like if i go into a building where there's a bunch of kind people that love people and maybe that love jesus and they're full of smiles and hugs and care and concern what else matters like you know what i mean like think about that we all need that. And so, um, you know, I think that a lot of times we do go in with those expectations. So I just encourage you to think on that. And then so, how, how can we fix it? So if you've if you've had those struggles and I bring this up, you guys, because I spent I spent about three years super involved in a church. It was it, it was something that was very, very important to me. It was very dear to me. I, I met some of the greatest people. I felt family that I hadn't ever felt before. Um, and then I had one thing offend me and I didn't step back in that building for like over three years. And now I have found myself back involved and, and back around. And it's just the greatest feeling. It's a reminder that Jesus loves us so much. It's also a reminder, like sometimes we got to go around the world, if you will, quote unquote, or through, through some, through some struggles and some ups and downs to get there. I never like doubted Jesus, but I had an offense by one person who I know, I know 100%. The offense was not intentional. It was my ego allowing my, because I was, it was, it was me. It was me allowing that I was playing the blame game really, you know, and then, and then to step back in and think like, this is Jesus house. Like this is a place where there should be love and grace and not judgment. And so first of all, ego check to myself. Second of all, gratitude for all the beautiful, wonderful human beings and the building and the music and the sound system and the audio visual and the ability to go live and, and stream to the world like gratitude 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 and so i encourage you to find that gratitude in in those spaces and I, i'm not telling you to go back to church but i what i am telling you is i would be willing to bet that most of you watching or listening have had some sort of situations maybe more than one and i would encourage you to surrender let your guard down a little bit and just know god's protecting you and then just see what happens, mate. You know, find church hop a little bit. I years ago I church hopped a bunch, um, and even after leaving the church that I'm now kind of rekindled with, I've gone to oh probably four other churches, maybe five, four or five other churches over the last four years, and uh, and God's been pretty awesome to bring me back to a place that truly was the place I felt the most comfortable. Uh, so we re we want to remove that pride, and we want to really get our egos out of it, and and really like strip things down and surrender to what's possible and remember at the worst case we're going into a place where we're going to hear some great music see some smiles see some people that love jesus are going to hear a good message um, and go on for there and so then forgive yourself and forgive your past as well and realize we're worthy of greatness i said that earlier and i'm reminding you because you know that and so let's 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 uh let's be open to that and listen friends I, i'm not you may not have a church home you may not have any interest in church at all this is not 
you know, my podcast is not created to just be a religious place. This is a place where simply I'm always going to give you all of me. And when I come up with a podcast idea, it's because God speaks to me. Um, and sometimes it's about dirt bike riding and sometimes it's about weight loss and sometimes it's about Jesus. And in this case, it's like I found myself stepping into a place that I had stepped out of because my ego got in the way and I surrendered that and gave it. And it was hard. And then I realized how much joy that that brought me to be around great people and to hear an incredible message from a great communicator and see an awesome pastor who I believe in and I believe is authentic and and to know the outreach that they do in the community. I I had to realize like, okay, I've got to share this with people. So I bring this up only because it's my recent circumstance. As if you ever listen to my podcasts, any of them, most of the time, that's exactly what it is. So we're going to forgive ourselves from our past experiences and forgive yourself for what you've done. Like I've had to really go, oh, you know what? I took offense to that situation from that person who I, again, like I said a minute ago, I know, I know wholeheartedly the intention was not to offend. Uh, I chose to take it the wrong way and then I need to focus on the forgiveness and move forward in a positive, happy way. And then just submit to whatever it is that's laying in your way, whatever it is that's in the way. And again, like I said, you may want to church hop. You may not want to go to church. Maybe this is, maybe this is not for you. Uh, Maybe it's something completely different than church, but I will say that the message is powerful and strong in what I'm talking about. And, you know, if you are one of those people that has had some of these experiences, maybe you start by some virtual church. Maybe you start by, um, you know, watching some Instagram stuff from some pastors that you like. Or maybe you just step in and you just give it all to God and just go to church and see what you love or don't love and, and go from there and enjoy the ride and see what it is. But I do believe you'll find happiness in, in that. And um, and then and then go share that. Go share. Um, go share Jesus and his love, first of all. And second of all. Um, share great experiences so that other people may also have an opportunity to come closer to knowing who God is and how amazing God is. Again, you know, I, I don't, I'll never apologize for talking about God. I also don't ever want anybody to feel like that's all this is about, but it is a very important thing. And in the world we're in today, I believe that we need God in our life more now than we ever have before. And so I would just encourage you to, to find that and find that love, find that encouragement, find family, find community, um, uh, find worship uh, whatever it is that truly speaks to you, um, and go from there. So I hope this brings you some value today. Again, it is episode number 40 and this one's titled, did the church hurt you? Because let me tell you, the church hurt me. And then the next church hurt me. And then the next human hurt me. Right. And at the end of the day, uh, I'm allowing those things to hurt me. And so it's a reality check to, uh, to fix, fix me and fix myself moving forward and go from there. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. Episode 40 in the books. Make sure you like, share, follow, subscribe, do all the things, show some love. Comments are awesome. Reach out to me. Give me any feedback. If this brought you value, share it out to your friends and have a wonderful day. God loves you so much. You're created with purpose on purpose. You are amazing.